movie review on the internet today. The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. As you can see, it's time to go back to the theater. And ladies and gentlemen, this weekend marks the release of a sequel that many younger audience members are looking forward to. Me? Eh, why not? Sure. My review of the 2019 animated sequel, The Secret Life of Pets 2. Coming up now. Max and Duke have their world turned upside down when their owner, Katie, finds a husband, Chuck, and they have a baby named Liam. Soon Max begins to love the kid and vice versa and starts to become protective of him. The family soon goes to visit Chuck's relatives on a farm and Max and Duke find themselves meeting the farm's tough sheepdog, Rooster. While on their trip, Gidget attempts to get Max's favorite toy back, which she lost in a house full of cats, and Snowball the Rabbit dresses as a superhero as he tries to save a white tiger cub from an evil circus. So what did I think of The Secret Life of Pets 2? I thought it's a ho-hum animated sequel. The first film, while having a very big Toy Story feel to it, was interesting and had some fun ideas. This time around, it feels rather uninspired. The animation which comes to us from Illumination looks good and lights up the big screen. The animals are rather cute, and some, like the baby tiger, are adorable once again as well. The comedy does have some laugh-out-loud moments with jokes that the whole family can enjoy. Like the original, it follows the lives of the pets when their owners leave the house for the day and sees them end up in some wild situations, even crazier this time around, some of which works and some, well, not so much. The story is actually cut into three different storylines, some of which, of course, are better than others, one of which kept me uh, making me lose interest when it cut back to it. The film started out pretty strong, and I actually thought that the main story was going to be about Max accepting the change in life with a child in the house, but that's resolved very quickly. As it goes on, it goes all over the place with so many random weird things that sometimes didn't make sense that happens. I feel like the movie really could have just focused on one of the stories, just making it longer and giving the other characters something to do in it. We get the story of Max learning how to keep the farm animals in line from Rooster, Gidget trying to infiltrate the house of cats in disguise, and Captain Snowball trying to free the tiger, a plot that gave me flashbacks to show dogs. All of the storylines surprisingly come together or are thrown together for the finale. The villain is also very odd and looks like a mix between The Undertaker and Cruella de Vil. Characters disappear throughout the film, and a move that I thought was strange was that Duke got very little screen time after being the second main character in the last entry. On the bright side, it is a quick watch that goes by pretty fast. The voice cast stars Patton Oswald, who replaces Louis C.K. as Max, the Jack Russell Terrier who becomes very worried about the new child in the house and develops an itch, Eric Stone Street as Duke, the large Newfoundland mix who lives with Max. Kevin Hart as Snowball, the rabbit who now moonlights as a superhero. Jenny Slate as Gidget, the white Pomeranian who's in love with Max. Tiffany Haddish as Daisy, the Shih Tzu who needs Snowball's help. Lake Bell as Chloe, the obese tabby cat who's helping Gidget pretend to be a cat, and Harrison Ford as Rooster, the Welsh sheepdog who isn't thrilled with Max and Duke as company at first. While The Secret Life of Pets 2 is harmless, it has a thin plot and feels like it's coasting, kids might still have a better time with it than some of the older members of the audience. I'm going to give it the rating of... Meh. You know, it's okay. All right, well, that's the show. 
I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Bayless. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West Bayless. Until next time, truth out.